Right, the hand's nearly finished, well, the carving part, a lot of sanding to do, but we, we've got the problem of wrinkles. I can't have my old wrinkly face with the hands of a teenage girl on it, so I've got to put some wrinkles in. So, they're very similar to the wrinkles on the face, they're not continuous creases, they tend to be small creases all joined together. So I'm using a very small V tool put the major ones in there's some pretty deep ones around the main joint there And then as I did on the face, the smaller ones I'm going to put in with my pointed spike. Now the problem is, as you can see from a real finger, there are so many of these uh, creases and wrinkles. Um, where would you stop? It could go on forever. So I think uh, you just have to make a decision on how you want your carving to look. I think if you try to do all of them, it could end up looking pretty grotesque. But there is a pattern to them as you come down here where this finger is pulled forward and this one's back they come round in a kind of uh, a fan shape coming round the bend like that and then the one this one here is really quite deep all depending on quite how much you stretched your finger back. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to uh, rub them down with the, the um, sponge sanding pad. <laughs> 